Well, I'm Manchester UK, three videos a time with Stephen Goddard. Now, the reason I've got I sometimes think these cameras pick out things you can't see with the naked eye. Especially when you get your lights on. Most of these are blank in this area. But you can definitely see a sun. Some form of... Well, I can't really make it out, but it's red sandstone. It must be like a Celtic band around the top. Once more, repeated on the other side. Now, whether these are here to replace older things, I don't know if they're original or anything like that. But we're definitely into ancient Britain now, aren't we? No going back now. But like I say, you got to walk miles just to get a shot of one thing you're looking for. There's five of these, and that was the only one with anything written on. So anywhere there's a hole of any kind or an excavation in the middle of the fields, I'm using that for my advantage. It's like there's a cracked water pipe in there. But there's lots of little holes like this that, you know, they help you out. So they're redeveloping that building there, which is old. Very old. So I'm walking by that way. That's a sneaking suspicion that's red sandstone. Very good. It's a very good build that, very square to say it's old. A little shed to check out. But, yeah, besides that, it's a burst water pipe. Looks like they've dug up a few uh, bits in the area. There's a lovely sunset again. So, there's the house we were just looking at. There we go. And, it's going to be quick. Finish my explanation of time. And a few other things about the Roman buildings I'm looking for in this area. Well, that's a natural spring that fills this reservoir that comes from that tower on the hill. It's a natural spring underground reservoir. Not sure what its use is for. I think it's drinking water though. So you got a little weir. But what I'm saying about the stones in this area now So what we're saying about the stones in this area. A long time ago, someone's come along. It looks like. Somebody has come along. And used any stones that were used by the Romans to build their own things. So we're talking 1500 years, or well, 1700 years, since the Romans left Great Britain. So the Romans left Britain around 350 AD. What does I say, 1700 years ago. There's plenty of the history of the Romans as we're walking around. But these are the red bricks. These are quarried from Manchester. Uh, it's called sandstone. I think most people are familiar with that. It seems like we're a little bit close. Look these little reservoirs, they're all built with stones all the way around. Whitehead Lodges is quarried, as we know from there. But there's nothing to say that some of the stones weren't recycled from the Romans. 
And I'm definitely, I think definitely this is. I think this house has actually been rebuilt, but originally it's made from that stone. And that is very square. Uh -oh. It says 1885 on the front, but I know the stonework. So that stonework I'm gonna gamble on has been recycled by some Roman fortification or something in this area. I don't know if you agree, but I've always found this like to be a little spooky. <laughs> Just reminds me of a spooky sort of house. You can always hear crows. But of course I don't believe in the supernatural. But the stone's all over. Still in the area of Anthony Fold. Yeah, it's been rebuilt, completely rebuilt. They actually put a triangular arch over the doorway. That's modern. Way of building. But it's the same shape, and I, somehow they've kept the roof intact. So that look, that's going to take a lot of looking into. That's a very interesting house. And at the top there's a farmhouse. So rather than walk down the hill, in fact, I'm going to go around. I thought this was abandoned, this house. Someone's obviously bought it. That's where all the excavations are in the field. In the distance. So we're going to walk up towards, well, we're going up higher, basically. Ten thousand years ago. So it's twelve thousand years ago, ten thousand BC. Um, I've missed this out. We domesticate sheep, wheat and goats. And then it moves me nicely along because I said we um, domesticated the first guinea pig, which we did, and then I said weights and measures in Egypt, we were onto that. But I was telling you about time, so the formation of global time, 1927. Um, clocks though, 193 BC was also the Parteus Amelia, and that's made of concrete, and that's 200 BC. That's the concrete arch I was telling you about that was found in Rome. So yeah, there's an actual spring up in there. I used to walk up there as a kid and just listen in. You lie down on the top of it, it's a concrete roof over the top. I suppose, concrete ceiling. And I'm just trying to get to this barn at the end because I feel like this has got some red stone in it too. It's very swampy by the way, so you just have to bear with me. Right, so we've got, well, I've seen loads of red stones in the floor. Still in the same area, still sunset. I will conclude because I need to just finish about time and then we can go back on to the main topics that we were on about yesterday. Yeah, all the topics we were on about yesterday. So that's the higher reservoir. The Whitehead Lodges in the sunset. And of course the old mine I, I showed you when we first started over there. But that was about a dam breach of 1850. So that seems very modern compared to where I'm up to. So I've got an old barn to film. As I go on about clocks. So it's 800 AD. We have the first hourglass. An hourglass is filled with sand and you turn it upside down and the amount of time it takes the sand to fill the bottom bowl and then you flip it over again to an hourglass is another clock. Su Song's clock tower is just a marvel. Um, that's 1080 AD. 
Once again, this is an old barn in this old area where I'm investigating for my Roman forts and walls. Don't worry, it is coming along. I can't show you everything you see. So, a quick glance at the barn before we lose in light, you see. the water it's a spring actually so they've contained it that you they must use that for natural drinking water I assume so this barn has actually got animals in a lot of the time but not at the moment so it's been modern at the front modern breeze block structure but this is much older so at the moment I'm not filming great deal because I'm looking in depth at things I'm trying to find writing on things basically and you know what it's very rare I found like there there's a letter A and things can you see it very very hard to spot it and I think the dirt's filled in the gaps but cameras modern digital cameras seem very good at picking them out when you look at it later on you do have to find it first so yes, I'm literally looking at all the stones in the area. <laughs> I found um, some interesting things though. Um, I found one piece of pottery, which I need to identify. I'm not showing anybody that yet. Seems to have a drawing of a castle on. And that's absolutely true. It's a half a plate. And I'm sure it, it's definitely old. 60% of all pottery found in the British Isles is from the Romans. And then we, because it was such a big period, the medieval times, and basically everything was smashed to pieces, even though we were making it because there were lots of religious uproar, uprisings, and etc. So a lot of things got damaged and were lost to history forever. So we call it the Dark Ages. And as you know, by the 1800s, they're still burning witches. So we went backwards. At some point, after the Romans invaded, and you know stories of old we do seem to go backwards and forget some of the things we knew before the technology and learning seems to disappear from the bible seems to just take over and everyone seems to have faith in that achieve a better life by being religious instead of learning so i think that's what the process happened there so i'm just going to carry on up the hill towards the spring which is now a modern Bentley Hall on the hill. Now I can't give any more away. It just seems that mine is maybe older than I originally thought. Manchester's in a the line there. But we're not going to try and zoom in the sunset because it doesn't work. That's Heaton Park area. Oldham. As we go around. As I say, I'm scouting, you see, so I'm just trying to film and put little bits in as we put piece it together. So this is the, uh, you can see a square on the top of that hill, I'm going to just tell you. These are, that's one of my first sites that I think could be a possibility. You could actually see it from the old mine at the top. Did you notice when we were watching that video? I didn't notice it till then. If you click back to um, walking around the copper mine or the mine, stone, quarry, like the start of this playlist, you will notice on the horizon a perfectly square fault light structure and it's on that hill there over the way and it is actually, it's prime location that just it's got it I was walking up a road before which is said to be Roman and I'm, I guarantee it is you can almost get a sense of it, the noise of people marching and don't know, there's something about you know, you get it when you're in the right areas. Remember, it's 15 to 1700 years of people knocking it down and things going over the top. So, so songs, Sue Song's clock tower, uh, search that. That's an um, amazing piece of equipment. It's in China. Tells you the day, month, yeah, uh, predicts future, 
um, star signs, charts, all sorts, and it's all just one water powered building, basically, which is all clock work and cogs and everything, and it all work, runs perfectly and tells you the time for years and years, future times, everything. It's like it's almost a computer. I've heard people say that.